All right, so this is right outside the 3402 Cornelia Street house, the second one we're looking at today. Um, I wanna show you the neighborhood before we head in. So this neighborhood is a little bit more established. It looks like they probably bought the lot, tore down an older home, and are building a new home on here. Narrower streets. Next door is a little bit older as well, but that's okay. And down here is a, um, a school you can see at the end of the street which is kind of nice so let me see if I can find a way to get inside all right so bear with me they're still working on the house but this is when you first walk in the front door and this is your living room and kitchen area so this house is gonna be 1258 square feet only about 10 feet different than the last one we looked at but I will say this living room space feels a lot more open. And then straight down the hallway to the bedrooms. So this one is gonna be a three bedroom, two bath again, and a one car garage. So that's probably where they got um, the extra square footage per se. And so it's a little bit hard to see because they don't have the power turned on here, but there is your one car garage. Nice, big, open kitchen, probably white cabinets, your pantry. Um, it looks like they're gonna be doing that vinyl plank flooring. You can kind of see it protected under here. Here's the first bedroom. Looks a little bit bigger than the last house as well, which is nice. And a pretty sizable walk-in closet. Now, I don't think this is the master, which is interesting to have a closet that big in a secondary bath. But here's your laundry room. It's your washer dryer hookups in there. Little art nook in here. You do have ceramic tile they're putting up in there. Vinyl flooring continues through to the bathroom, but it looks like it's probably going to be space for just a single vanity. Your second bedroom towards the back of the house, again, is about the same size as the first one. It's another walk-in closet. I'm liking this option a lot more. This one is priced at $229,888. The last one was $229,900. So all in all, you get a lot more space inside the house is what it's feeling like. And it's nice that it's walking distance to the school down the street. That's gonna be really beneficial for some runners. So this is your primary, I'm sorry. But you do have space for a king size bed in here, which is awesome. Nice windows for some bright light. Again, another walk-in closet. The storage in this house has been really well thought out. That's probably going to be a little nook for a TV. You can see they have a cable um, port there. So you can mount your TV on the wall. This has a stand-in shower. So your master will not have a bathtub, but that's okay. You do have at least one bathtub in the house, and you do have that same ceramic tile going up in here, kind of a marbled finish. Um, no flooring set in the master bath or any of the bedrooms yet. So that I'm imagining will probably be tile instead of this vinyl plank. There we go. See if I can squeeze out the back so we can get an idea of your lot in your backyard. So not much space because it opens up pretty much right into the house behind it. Um, again, I'll have to confirm if they plan to put a fence around here, but if not, you could probably get a small fence here for a little bit of privacy. But there you go. You have a little bit of an enclosed space, small patio. I would step out there, but it's pretty muddy. But just want to give you an idea of your little patio space here. So um, not the biggest lot here, so you sacrifice a little bit on that. But you do get quite a bit more space inside the house from what it feels like. 
and a closer proximity into town and you're off of that railroad track. Again, before we head out, I'll give you an idea of the space here. So your living room and kitchen does feel pretty open. Anyways, th that is Cornelia Street, listed at 229-888. Three bedroom, two bath on this one. One car garage, which is kind of a downsize, but it's a good space here. All right, I'll get it uploaded for you.